Thanks for checking out 3D Products. I'm Donald Williams. We're going to show you how to set this nice dilution system up where all the bottles are full. We're going to show you how to uh, use them with the ready mix products, with the dilutable products, and our brand new uh, DEMA built dilution system. So the first thing we're going to show you how to do is how what's in the box when you get your dilution system, how to set it up. It's pretty much ready to go. You just have to attach it to whether it be the rack or to a wall, put the hoses on. It's already set up for the dilution that is best for our chemicals. Then we'll show you how to take and remove the caps and put these uh, spigots on here to make sure that you're ready and you're doing it the right way without any leakage so you can quickly and easily take advantage of this simple to use setup and uh, make sure you get the most out of every one of your products. Now we're going to show you what comes in the box. This is our wall mount dilution system. It comes in a nice 3D uh, products box here. In the box you'll have your set of instructions on how to install your DEMUS dilution system. You'll have your dilution system here. The knob will not be attached. You'll want to take and press down the back and pop it open. Set it to the side. Now what you'll have, this are the two systems. You have a 3 8 inch uh, hose adapter for your soap hose. You'll have uh, one that's set up for your tire and wheel, which is what we have connected to BDX. This one is set up for a 8 to 1 dilution for your all-purpose cleaner, which is also what we like to use as our orange degreaser. We think it's the best product in the market for all-purpose. And then you have your heavy degreaser, which is your Grand Slam. And then right here, we let the valve open. It's not going to leak. This is for water. So if you want to fill up your water, fill up your 30 ounce bottle, your gallons, whatever you want with water, you'll be able to do that as well. So we kept that open for you. Okay, so that's the dilution system that you'll be receiving in the box. You also have the hose. This is for your soap. It's a bit thicker. It's a bit made to fit the 3 8. You will have the short hose, that'll be going on the switch valve. This is for your 32 ounce bottle. It's made so that it keeps the viscosity down so you don't get foaming in the bottle when you go to fill it up. This will be your hose for your soap. And then you will be getting one, one eighth hoses. Now, if you notice, there was only four. One is a spare, just in case you have one get damaged. You have one as an extra. It's run over, pulled, broken. You have one extra one. And then you will have drywall anchors if you want a drywall anchor to it or and screws that you'll be able to use to either screw it into the rack or screw it into a drywall, the drywall or concrete if you need to. These are weights that go on your 1 8 inch hoses to be able to uh, keep them straight in line and in the bottom of your buckets. And you'll have five of those in there and then this is your dial. I'm going to use a drill to get this set up because I want to do it a little bit faster. You want to do it by hand, you're more than welcome to. First thing you'll want to do is line it up to a height that's suitable for you. Find it to be close to a position where you can get your hose to it. You need to have a water hose. It's a hydro dilution system. You have six locations you can put your screws in. One, two, three. If you want to mount it to your drywall, to your concrete block wall, that's completely up to you. If you want to, we got a rack that we felt was strong enough to be able to handle the abuse. So I'm going to go and line it up here. I'm going to make sure I'm even, put it in the right spot that I want it to be at. And I'm going to drill my first hole. I want to make sure I get a drill bit that I believe it's a 932nd size. And I'm going to screw in my first one here. You slide it in the hole, drop it down. Make sure you're, you're level and then just attach it, not too tight, just enough where it stops. It comes with four screws. I would prefer using them all. Just to make sure you don't go too far. Set it to like a nine to make sure it stops once you hit it so it doesn't torque it too far. And screw through your anchor. And there you go. It's nice and sturdy. All right, now you got it anchored. It's on there really good. Uh, you're ready to put on your hoses and put the cap on. First, you're gonna take your hose that you want for your soap. We're gonna pull it through here. We're going to 
push it right on. Okay, that's the one for your soap. Then you'll want to take your weights, slide them on to your clear plastic hoses. You'll put them through the bottom side here, two on this side. One is for your orange degreaser or all-purpose cleaner. Squeeze that on, it's one with the purple tip in it. The other, this will be for your tire and wheel, which is your BDX. I'm gonna take and pull them down. This one will be for your Grand Slam, which is your heavy degreaser. Give it a nice pull, and you're ready to go there. This is how your dilution system will look inside. Then you'll take your hoses. This is a hose for your soap line. It's long, has a hook on it, so you can hook it up when you're done. Take and put a hand on top of here to push it down. This one's a little bit more feisty. That's because you don't want it to blow off when you're using it. Jam it right up in there. Only needs to go about three ribs up. And this one is for your bottle fill. Same thing. Let me even grab down here. It's made to be a little stubborn. Go about three rings up, two, three rings up. Take your lid. He's got three distinct teeth here that go into these slots right here. Now, the one trick is you have this little tooth right here. And then make sure your tongue up here is in. This little tooth has to meet inside that hole. And then you yeah, just snap it together. Final, final touch, you have a tooth here that matches this tooth here. Put it in, it's ready to go. Right now it's set up for your tire and wheel, your all purpose, your heavy degreaser, and then if you want water. Very simple setup. And then just make sure, again, that you're close enough to have a hose. And you take your hose, push it all the way in, make sure it's nice and tight. It stops turning. And then if you want, you can zip tie it to this or you can plug it up to the wall. It's all set up and ready to go into your dilutable chemicals. All right, so because of shipping some of these products over long distances, we wanna make sure that they get there safe and in, intact. We wanna just take and break the tamper-proof uh, seal here. Unscrew it. Since you already have it open, just take your screwdriver on the ground, pop it out. Now, this is Grand Slam, so you're gonna find your Grand Slam or your heavy degreaser product on here, which is the line on the far right, which I would suggest before you get this all set up or remember which line is what. Take it, run it through the rack. This will fit right in, drop it down, pick up your bucket, and this will slide, voila. Grand Slam set up. Run your soap line. It's a bit thicker. You can run it right down the side here. Run it into the bottom. Pop it right in. And then you just make sure that the hose. Make sure the soap goes all the way down to the bottom. We have an all-purpose cleaner if you like it. We just uh, enjoy the all-purpose cleaner for this because it's mild enough, diluted eight to one, to be the perfect all-purpose cleaner. It's great for carpets. If you don't get all of the degreaser out of the carpet with a shampoo extractor or a carpet extractor, and you just wanna do light cleaning on upholstery, it's great because it doesn't get crispy, doesn't get crunchy. Uh, the, the, the lemon in it keeps your material soft. So we'll take and pull the orange degreaser. Now remember, the orange degreaser, so we know, is set up with the purple tip. So it's this one here. Again, you can plan that ahead when you're doing it. Line this up. Pop it in. Just make sure that that little plastic nub is in there. Put the cap back on, okay. Now you can feed it around the back or feed it through the rack. Again, that's all up to you. I would always put my dilutable products on the bottom just because as you can see here, we have these set up to be the uh, products that are uh, ready to use sitting sideways. So you run it through, take it, drop it in here, along with the weight. Set it. Take it, set it in, make sure the hose is all the way at the bottom. You're nice and square. 
Now you have an, also have an option, if you don't want to go with the five gallons, you can also do, like the BDX here is four to one, uh, you can do it in a gallon size. Same thing with uh, the pink car soap, the Grand Slam, doesn't matter if it's five gallon or if it's one gallon, it still dilutes and breaks down the same. Fits in here perfect, so if you're a shop that doesn't go through a ton of product, but wants to make sure you manage your product correctly, you're gonna take and you're gonna use this, this option here. So, what you'll do, do the same exact thing you did before, run it through the back here. And because it just has the foil, pop it right through the foil, drop it down in the bottom. It's diluted and it's ready to go right here. Obviously you can use a smaller rack if you'd like to. And uh, now the dilution portion of this setup is all ready. We're ready to turn on the water, get this thing vacuumed through, and get moving on it. Now there's alternatives to BDX if some of us doesn't want to go with BDX. Maybe people think it's too pricey. Um, personally, I love it. I think it's great for the pound for pound. Mostly if you're just looking at, you don't do a whole lot of wheel cleaner. You just want a mild degreaser or a mild detergent to be able to clean off some of the grime off the rims, polish it down or, or pressure wash it down and get it nice and clean. Yellow degreaser is perfect. It's ideal for that. It's also safe. You know, we got wheel acids and all those things that are out there. But if you're not doing heavy duty and you don't uh, want to deal with the uh, BDX, yellow degreaser is perfect. Now I'm showing it to you in a round pail because a lot of times people get caught up with some of, oh, it has to be a square pail, the way it fits, it lays down. But you see most of this stuff is laid on its end. So to do the same thing, exact same thing, we're gonna do it with yellow degreaser. We're gonna remove the BDX. We're gonna have it lined up with tire and wheel, okay? So we're gonna go through and just pop in yellow degreaser here. Now you can also do this with the safe acid, safe acid wheel cleaner. Now we're gonna, it's pretty easy. There's already a safety seal in here. Just open it up. You can push it back down to reduce headroom here. Take, stand it on the, on its end here. And then easily go to the back. where you had your line. Easy to go to the back. And just drop it right in. Just make sure that weight's all down in there. In the bottom. And now your yellow degreaser is set up that four to one to be able to take care of your wheel and tire and rubber exterior grime. And as you can see, fits perfect with a round bucket. So when you're done with it, you can use the bucket as a wash bucket. Take advantage of that uh, small uh, benefit of those round buckets. You know, with our 3D chemical system, designed for the body shops, we thought it best with some of the products to actually have them already diluted um, or ready mixed for you. Our glass cleaner, our uh, non-silicone dressing, and our detail spray. The reason being is, is it's very sensitive on the way it's mixed because if the water pressure isn't set up correctly uh, for your building, uh, for example, if, if glass cleaner has too much chemical in it, it will streak, it will cause a problem you don't have to have that headache or worry about it. We'd set it up here, you guys go for it, and use the product the way you like to. And without worrying on whether or not it's diluted or not. Too often I get into shops and whether it be my product or someone else, people say, yeah, my glass cleaner isn't that good. And I notice that, or my dressing, tire dressing isn't shiny enough or very good. And they're just going off of the manufacturer's suggested dilutions, but they don't really know, and it's not their business to know a lot of times, the pressure that comes in from the tap or from the water. So we wanted to get rid of that headache with some of these products. We're doing what was suggested, 
and what is the normal or what is the, the actual range for the rest of the dilution. But just in case for the more sensitive items, we wanted to make sure we took away that headache for you. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing here with these two products, with the lids, as we did with our products that needed to be diluted. Now to be totally safe, you could use a chisel or if you find a pipe that fits it perfectly, boom, you can knock it through. Uh, just make sure you don't ruin the thread because what you're going to do now is you're going to take this cap, it's going to screw right in here. You want to make sure that the black rubber is on there, tighten it down. Make sure this is tight because you are going to be doing it sideways. Turn it sideways for when you load it onto the shelf. And then for ventilation, because you're pouring out the bottom, you have this little cap here. Take an awl and poke it in there. Just kind of work it open. A razor blade works just fine. You just need a little bit of a hole. And then you put the cap on just a little bit. You want to make sure that this is closed before you do it. If you'll see here, this is the opening thing. You want it facing out, right in here, this hole here. If, it's, if you can't see it, most likely this thing's open. So what you'll do is make sure that's closed. Pick it up, stick it on the rack. Point it down, loosen the vent. And you're ready to go. Make sure that the black rubber seal is on there. I like to store them up just in case someone does walk through and knock them so you don't have anything loose. You got your ready mix glass cleaner, your detail spray, your non silicone dressing. You got your tire, whether you have it in a gallon or five gallon with BDX. You have your um, Grand Slam, which is your heavy degreaser, your pink car soap, obviously soap, and your orange degreaser, which is your all purpose cleaner. All ready, set up. Now we got to just take and hook it up to the water. Now that we have all the products set up, we have the hoses in, we have the spigots in. Uh, if we have to fill up any bottles, we can do that with these uh, simple spigots. Just turn them over, open up the valve. Okay, so you're gonna take the hose. It's got a bucket clip. You can set it right on the side there. And you'll just pull it up and you'll push it down and you'll lock it in. You'll see the soap will start to prime out. So. Wait till the soap gets in there. So if you want to get rid of some of the water, you can. So go ahead and get rid of that water. All right, pour it there. And now, see the pink soap starting to fill through? Get it to the desired level that you'd like. And you get your nice pink car soap. And then let it go. If you want to, it's locked. You lock it, to pick, unlock it, pick it up dropped right down. And that's the soap. Now, you want to do your Grand Slam, your heavy degreaser, okay? It's pretty simple. Take your bo bottle, empty bottle, unscrew the lid, put it up here, it'll hit this little attachment here, then you just, boom. Now first you have water that goes through, you gotta make sure that the chemical is in there. Dump out that first that first run, and now you're ready to do it every time. It's gonna fill up for you. Nice pink color. Now the, the hose is designed to keep the uh, the product from foaming too much. So there you go. You have a little bit of a little bit of head on there. There you go, Grand Slam. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Your all-purpose or your orange degreaser. If you want, you can take a bucket underneath here too. Push it up here. Rinse out the last product. Slide it in. There you go. Last one for your tire and wheel, BDX. Because the way this product's designed, you don't have to run through all the other chemicals. It all stops in, up in the top and it has a drip. So you want to have a drip bucket at the bottom just to make sure you don't have all that excess. 
Okay, you watch the hose come up, make sure that it's the product first. Now BDX, you'll be able to smell, so you'll know that it's working. Fill it up. Yum. Tire and wheel. And then, of course, if you wanted water, whether you want to use it out of the spigot, you can do it this way, fill it up your bucket, or you can take another water bottle. All right, now if you want water, turn it over to water. Yeah. So, and just take it, fill up your water. We appreciate you taking the time to check us out and how to do the quick setup with the 3D dilution system and uh, all of our body shop safe items. We hope this helps you out, be a lot more efficient in your shops, making sure you don't waste any product and be able to get things taken care of quickly and efficiently. Make sure you keep up to date with all of 3D's latest and greatest innovative car care products by uh, following us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube channels, and uh, posting some of your experiences with us on Facebook. Again, I'm Donald Williams with 3D International. We'll see you next time.